jerky. In case you were wondering. Storms over there loading up the sprayer uh, with a rinse tank. That's just clean water. Uh, sprayer sat for a little bit, so we're gonna run a rinse tank through it over out on the wheat stubble, and then we'll go spray wheat. Um, the reason we spray the wheat stubble is right now it's got some weeds and stuff in it, so we want to get them weeds killed before we uh, before we go plant our cover crop. Storm right there. There he is. He's smiling. Back in the wheat field, uh, we've got about 380 acres left to go of wheat total. And a few good days of running, we can get it wrapped up, but it sounds like it's going to rain again today. So, that's wonderful. That's okay. Corn and beans need the water too. Just finished up a uh, 40 acre field this morning. Stuff was kind of kind of wet, but decided to run anyway. Chance of spotted showers all day today. Uh, we've only got four more fields to go. Um, 50, 70, maybe 80, 90 acres, something like that. So hopefully we can get finished up today. Got enough room to put some weed up in the in a wet bin. So. Here we go, last of wheat harvest 2020 is commencing. Not a single kernel left in there. Normally we don't windrow our straw, but we're running out of big round straw bales in the barn, so sometimes you gotta, gotta do it. Normally we like to leave all the, res all the residue in the field, because that's all that residue is nutrients. Beet harvest is over. Folding up the bin for the last time. Good morning guys, it is the day after wheat harvest. Uh, we finished up yesterday and now it is time to clean everything up, put it all away. Uh, we've got some spraying to do on the wheat stubble to get that cleaned up before we plant cover crops on it. Uh, other than that, there's not much going on. We've got some more wheat to dry, um, get that in the final bins and we will be totally done with wheat. How do we clean out the grain cart after harvest? Uh, pretty easy, actually. So up under here, there is the slide. Pull up this. There's this slide that runs underneath the auger and you just push and pull that back and forth until no more wheat comes out and it dumps it out here and then up there you open the door on the front of the cart. So this happened the other day. Um, not supposed to just hang there like that. 
went to land it off the on the hood of the tractor and it slid off and yeah so now I have to replace this anti-vibration board up there I guess I know nothing about drone repair so we'll see how this goes okay this is kind of frightening uh, drone gods please be with me this is a good start the gimbal is now attached to the vibration board so yay we can reassemble that looks a lot better than it did before I'd, I'd say I did did okay we'll see if it all works uh, so there's a couple little connectors there's one here and here and here and here so hopefully those are still good and I didn't mess up any of that stuff Beautiful morning this morning. The dogs are working. Got the fertilizer spreader out. Going to do something a little different this morning. Uh, we spread some turkey litter a few months ago. Uh, had of beans. Uh, that didn't necessarily go the greatest. The stuff was kind of wet. So this morning we've got some compost here. Uh, this stuff seems to be pretty good and dry. So we'll see how this goes. Spreader is loaded and go spread that. Pulling the spreader is a 2013 uh, John Deere 8335R, 335 horsepower. Uh, pulls this thing just fine. Got these handy scales on the spreader. That way we know how much uh, how much we're putting on each load. There's the sensors there's three of them on each side measures the deflection and the shaft here 